How will generative artificial intelligence like ChatGPT change education and academic research? Teachers all over the world are talking about the challenges and possible benefits of using AI in their work. Some see the benefits of the technology's ability to process information and data, which can provide a basis for deeper critical analysis by humans. Others are concerned that students might rely on AI to produce work and effectively cheat. Do you think students should be allowed to use generative AI before a policy has been formulated? Well, I would say directly no. At leading Swedish University Lund, teachers decide which students can use AI to help them with assignments. Rachel Forsyth is the project manager in the strategic development office there. So we didn't want a ban, uh, so instead we've got a permissive approach is which you can use it as long as you're certain uh, that the assessment is valid, which we, by that we mean it tests the outcomes that we meant it to test, and that it's secure, which means that the student, we know that that student did the work that we're assessing. And that, that's not always easy, uh, that will improve over time. Similarly, the University of Hong Kong is allowing ChatGPT within strict limits. Launched by Microsoft-backed OpenAI in November 2022, ChatGPT has become the world's fastest growing app to date. Generative AI tools like ChatGPT draw on patterns in language and data to generate anything from essays to videos to mathematical calculations that superficially resemble human work. The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, recently launched what it says is the first global guidance on Gen AI in education. It outlines steps to take on areas such as data protection and revision of copyright laws. It also urges countries to make sure teachers get the AI skills they need. Professor Prosum Bhattacharya at Stockholm-based KTH Royal Institute of Technology says students should not be allowed to use the new technology before a policy has been formulated. Because, to my, in my opinion, this will really impact the learning ability of the students. Because the right now, a knowledge which is being gathered through reading books or reading different research articles or any other work that cannot be supplemented by information which is generated artificially. So could students rely on AI to produce work and effectively cheat? Worldwide, the software Turnitin has for decades been one of the main ways to check for plagiarism. In April, it launched a tool that uses AI to detect AI-generated content. It has provided that tool free to more than 10,000 education institutions globally, although it plans to charge a fee at the start of 2024. So far, the AI detection tool has found that only 3% of students used AI for more than 80% of their submissions. That's according to Turnitin data. Some students say there is still a long way to go before AI is properly useful. UNESCO's latest guidance also flags the risk generative AI will deepen societal divisions, as educational and economic success increasingly depend on access to electricity, computers and internet that the poorest do not have. UNESCO's Assistant Director General for Education, Stefania Giannini, Technology is a, a tool, it's a core, by itself is neutral, it's not for the bad or for the good. It's the way we use technology. And then we need an ecosystem which can be really uh, rethought, which can be reshaped for the future of education.